Well, since I won America's Next Top Model, I've shot for pretty much everyone in America. Macy's, Saks Fifth Avenue, JCPenney's, and Walmart, Haynes, all the major competitors. And then I moved to London. My main agency is there. I've shot for Italian Vogue. I've done campaigns for Panache Lingerie in South Africa, Singapore, Paris, Greece, Sweden. So I've just been everywhere modeling um, what I think successfully for a really long time now. I tell people that America's Next Top Model is the most difficult thing that I've ever done, but it's also the best thing that I've ever done. I mean, if I hadn't done the show, I would still be, well, I probably would have graduated college by now, but I can guarantee I wouldn't have seen so many places. I can guarantee I wouldn't have been snorkeling on the Great Barrier Reef, you know, or petting penguins in South Africa. The experiences that I've been able to have because of the show are just incredible. I mean, I, I thank Tyra every day. It's just such a blessing. Recently, I got married in Scotland, um, and my husband is actually a chef and an artist, and we opened a restaurant outside of Nashville, Tennessee. So it's farm to table, we source everything locally, and um, it's just mainly what I do. You know, we're there seven days a week, and it's really fun, and it's great because as a model, you don't have a lot of control. You know, your agent calls you and says, you're going to Africa tomorrow, and you're like, all right, you know, that's it. So being the owner of a restaurant, I get to you know, make my own decisions. And so that's been really nice. I mean, I still did London Fashion Week, of course, and like I've still been doing campaigns, but I'm trying to slow down a little bit on that and focus more on something that I have more power over. Yeah, um, I feel like my cycle was extremely successful. We had so many girls come out of it that are massive models now. And I think that's really incredible. It says a lot about the people who cast the show. Um, I'm still friends with Stacey Ann. We had dinner together in London. Uh, Fatima and I, actually, we weren't friends on the show, but we ended up being neighbors <laughs> in New York, yeah, in Hell's Kitchen. So uh, we're friends now. And so, yeah, I definitely keep in contact with the girls. And it's so cool because you meet up, you know, in other parts of the world. And, um, like, I randomly run into Claire on the streets of New York, like, all the time. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> Just, hey, there you are again in, in New York City. Like, it's... You know, it's weird, but we had such a great cast. I've, I think the main thing is just to persevere. And honestly, being on Top Model, the thing that helped me the most was making it bigger than yourself. Don't win the show because you think you're pretty and you want to win the show. Win the show because you believe in something, because you want to change lives. Because I'll tell you, the fan mail that I get is not, hi, we like you because you're pretty and cute. It's mm, my daughter had bulimia and she wouldn't seek treatment until she saw you on TV and now she's actually getting help. You know, like the fan mail is so powerful. And of course, I've become a spokesperson for the National Eating Disorders Association after winning and having that to motivate you, you know, when your feet hurt, when you're tired, when you're jet lagged, it just, it really keeps you going.